Howdy y'all, we got the Bulldog on the channel. Remember I talked about uh, looking like rain and it was raining and everything. Well, this morning was nice, you know, good temperature outside. I had one I had to work on outside. It was a Dodge Sprinter van, AKA Mercedes Benz Lorry. You know, it's 10 and a half feet tall, which in order to get that in the building, you either got to get a run at the nine foot door. So I did that outside. I had to do some uh, checking in the transmission on it. And I didn't film that because I, I don't know how to bleep. And I would have had to a lot. But I got it, I got it figured out, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure the customer won't want to fix it because when we cleaned it all up, put it back together, it worked. So, yeah, I, I know what's wrong with it, but, and it's gonna be a lot less than what you figured. But, uh, yeah, as soon as I got it done and we test drove it to make sure that, you know, see if the codes came back or anything, it started pouring down rain. And you can see it back there. That's how tall the thing is. It's, yeah, it's, it, it won't go in the building without that air conditioner on top. And it's got another 18 inches of uh, air conditioner that mounts to the top of the roof. But, uh, it, yeah. What else I did today was more wiring. Imagine that. This was not rodent damage. This is heat damage. See if I can show this to you. See this wire here getting all bare. The whole way is up. You can buy the plug which we did, but it only came with like 12 inches of wire and there's two feet here that's, well, 18 inches that uh, is just roasted. It goes between the ignition module and the crank sensor on a 60 degree General Motors, which 3.1, 3.4, all them, they got a sensor in the back that's sandwiched between the engine block and the transmission because why would you ever put anything where you could get to it make it easy to do but uh, they run the wire up the side of the block between the block and the exhaust manifold and why not because it's not like something would get hot there wire is completely cooked we don't know if that's what's causing the problem. Uh, customer honestly wasn't all that concerned with the running problem. They wanted the steering problem fixed because it, sometimes it would get suddenly hard to steer and they, they, could, they couldn't turn the wheel. And that's what's really dangerous. The running problems, you know, go well. And, uh, okay, when it gets really hard to steer, Is the motor running? Well, I have to restart it whenever I get stopped, but I'm trying to pull in somewhere and it gets really hard to steer. Does the engine die? Uh, well, the, 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 the that's not important. The steering, you know, when the engine's not running, you don't have power steering, but you know, maybe we'll fix their steering issue if we fix the running problem. And yeah, it's, like I said, I don't know if that's the cause of it, but it is definitely a major problem. And we'll just have to see. It never gave us any trouble, which that happens a lot where they have a specific uh, complaint and you never can recreate it. Hopefully the, the, the commonality was like it was raining or something because these things it's all twisted together 
Couldn't even see those cracks till you peeled it apart. Did we cause them when we peeled it apart? Well, maybe, maybe not. But if water gets up in here, it will short it out. So we're going to test drive it in this rain here and see if uh, see if we can recreate the problem. But uh, just wanted to pop on and give the update of what's going on today. We've got a bunch of others, but they're all waiting in line for computer diagnostic. And we got one computer. I should bring my mine from home because. You know, we always end up needing two of them. Just me and the owner here. So we uh, we normally don't need that many. But like, comment, subscribe. Use all the little buttons and bells and whistles down there. And we'll talk to you later.